you don't know where the plow is. Well, there it is. We got a nice tow out from towing service from London. Got her out to Dave's farm now. This will be the first time I take a walk around and look at it. Hope we got the rest of the plow attachment back at that farm. What the story is, the wealthy old guy sold the farm to developers. Sift and Properties of London wants to build homes on this farm was a horse farm forever so this truck and the other truck weren't required anymore I've been told that it's only got 500 kilometers on the new rebuilt 400 small block we haven't gone back to see if the plow is there because it was dark when we picked this thing up well looks like it could be a one-ton dually so far everything looks in good shape don't think it's been running for five years. Even the tires are like new. Frame scabby but solid. Bit of box rot. Yeah, lots of scabs. Now for my first look inside. I know this is somewhere from the late 70s. Got Corvette seats or something in it. Is it, uh... Well, it's an, an automatic with the floor 4x4 shifter. Full of farm stuff. Smells like a farm truck. Says 89,000 miles. Well, that means it's older than 78. It's probably a 77. Better shape than my old Ford. Pretty bare bones. Let's take a look at the motor. And we're up. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's been sitting around a while. Well, I'd say by the guns on the motor, it's got more than 500 kilometers. It looks like it's been used at least one year. The bottom of the block is still a pretty blue color, spider webs and all. Hydraulic pump for the plow. Hydraulic uh, control valves. Levers go inside. Definitely been sitting. Well, I gotta check the fuel lines in the gas tank and then we'll throw a battery in it and see what's gonna happen. Gas tank don't look like it's doing too well. And by the black stains, it's leaking at the bottom, the worst place. Yep, she's going to fall right out. This is going to need a redneck gas tank system. Shocks are shot. Oh, yeah, cab mounts. Yeah, got some sort of exhaust wired up on it. Fuel lines are fair. No leaks in the 
diff, diff pots. Well, found some paperwork. Where'd it go? It's 1977 GMC. And here's the insurance. And it expired in April of 2001. So this thing's been sitting at least exactly seven years. So that'll be a good old start, cold start. Let's check the oil. Not on the dipstick. We got a four barrel carb. It's mostly full of coolant. I got a battery in here. Got to add a bit of recycled motor oil. And see if it's seized or not. Seven years sitting outside. Well, that oil is probably blacker than the oil that's in this thing. Nice mouse nest beside the carb.